the child overtaking the parent at Dan Square tradition. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. The seven star Blastoise terror raids are going swimmingly. And now it's time to continue one of my favorite terror raid traditions we have here at the Danimal Kingdom, beating the seven star starters with their first evolution. This all started when we beat seven star Mewtwo with Lechonk. Then we beat seven star Hisuian Decidueye with Rowlet, Hisuian Typhlosion with Cyndaquil, Hisuian Samurott with Oshawott, Blaziken with Torchic only using Peck, ouch. Empoleon with Piplup. Venusaur with Bulbasaur. And now it's Squirtle's time to shine against Blastoise. Thank you to members of the Danimal High Council Squared, Cody the Fulp, Steve-O, and Fade Gamer for helping me put this video together. If you want to participate in videos like this in the future, become a channel member and select the Danimal High Council rank. Now let's get into this build. Here's a high level look at some of the builds we've covered so far for taking down 7 star Blastoise. Up first we have the Galleon build which I think is hands down the best build for solos and group raids. Fast clears, consistent clears, it does it all. Next to Galleon is a Spathra, I had a ton of fun with that. Another really strong build for group raids is right underneath it. That's Gastrodon, I'm going to cover that in a short that's going to release on March 7th. Use 3 month slaps and then just spam earth power and you win, it rocks. Next to Gastrodon is its Terra Fire Vaporeon, as we know, one of the best builds for doing massive damage. It lets you skip Turbo Turtle time and get the knockout from about half HP in solos. It is excellent. And last but not least, we have the latest addition in our long storied history of beating the seven star starters with the baby form. It's Squirtle. This build is super simple. There's not too much to talk about. To add to the degree of difficulty for this challenge, I added the rule that Squirtle can only use one move and that move is Water Gun. So we gave Squirtle a Terra type of water to power up Water Gun. It uses the Eviolite held item to increase its bulk. And a quick thank you to Danimal High Council member Squared Stevo for the shiny Squirtle. Danatello looks excellent. This build has max special attack EVs, max special defense EVs, and the final four in HP. Water Gun is a special attacking move, so naturally our build is a special attacking build. So it has a modest nature to further increase its special attack while lowering its attack. It should have max IVs in all of its stats except for attack, but I forgot to IV train. Oops. The ability torrent powers up Water Gun by 50% when we're at 1 third HP or lower. Why Water Gun? Because that is the move that I think of when I think of Squirtle. I think of playing Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green, but for some of you, Red, Blue, and Yellow, Water Gun's first, a Water Gun is Squirtle's first move. So I thought there would be no better move to feature for this challenge. Enjoy. This town ain't big enough for the two of us turtles. So as with any meme builds, we're going to start off by leaving the controller out of our hands. There is a 60 second move timer in Terra Raids. That gives our supporters some time to do a couple things. One is debuff Blastoise. So the Mew is going to be using Struggle Bugs to lower that special attack. Uh, our Espathra is going to be using Lumina Crash to soften up Blastoise. And Manaphy is working on Tail Glowing and Heart Swapping to power up Water Gun. It's water gun time. What better move for Squirtle to use to take down Blastoise? It's it's better than Hydro Pump. You'll see now. I mean, yeah, Hydro Pump would do more damage. We could have gone Terra Fighting and done Terra Blast, but we've done Terra Blast a lot. It's time for water gun. So let's double check. Oh, it's the, the special attack is minus three. We're chilling. We're good. We're good to go. So we're going to start uh, sending off those water guns. We're not going to do much damage. This, the shield is up. We gotta just charge our orb. We will have the helping hands. But we're sitting pretty. This has got to be my favorite terror raid tradition going back to the uh, seven star Hisui and Decidueye terror raids as mentioned earlier in the video. And it really got its start when we beat Mewtwo with Combi and Lechonk, which still blows my mind because that raid is insane. But I love it. I love seeing the little guys. Like, look at this shiny Squirtle. He's so excited. He's wagging the tail. He's just happy to be here. And some exercise using Water Gun on Blastoise. Our Manaphy is using Chilling Water. That actually doesn't help us because Blastoise is a special attacking Pokemon. But there's only so much that Manaphy can do, really. I can throw up the Cheers, but Manaphy is just there for Tail Glow and then Power Swap. You could also do the same with Mewtwo to uh, what it can do. That would be Nasty Plot, Power Swap. Manaphy goes Tail Glow, Heart Swap. I'm confusing my swap. But there we Terrastalize, and we're gonna start swinging. You'll see the true power of Water Gun. 
Water gun. It's nice. It's nice. It's better than Torshik using Peck to take down Blaziken. If you want to see True Pain, watch that video back. I'll, I'll link that up there. But right now, so the Blastoise's stat changes were negated. So we need to wait for uh, Struggle Bug or two. But our, we do have the water typing, which is excellent because we're not taking much damage. We have Eviolite. So we're probably fine. There's our second Struggle Bug, so now we're good to go. Start swinging with Water Gun. We still have plus six special attack. So probably two more we break this shield. What? Things get a little hairy later in the match during the Turbo Turtle time, in which Blastoise uses two moves at the same time. But right now, Smooth Sailing, Water Gun breaks the shield. Anything is possible in Terror Raids with the right support. But while Blastoise is doing its nonsense, I want to know what Pokemon are you using to take down 7-star Blastoise? Other than, I know the Vaporeons, I know the Gallades, I know the Gastrodon groups, what are the thinking outside of the box builds? I love seeing the comments of all the different creative builds. I saw one on the stream that we filmed it on. Someone was using uh, Mewtwo to solo, Tatsugiri solo. So let me know. And especially any wacky group raids. We did get the one hit KO off. Check that out as well. The one hit KO with Charizard. But now it's water gun time. So we're probably a little ways away. Or not. Okay, no, that's good hits. That's good hits. Why Water Gun? Good question. Why Water Gun? Why not? Water Pulse would do more damage. Hydro Pump would do more damage. But like we said, hey, listen. How many how many times can you see me use a starter and just go Terra Terra Blast? We got to enjoy Water Gun while we can. It's the OG move when it comes to water types. All right, so his stats are up. Okay, so at this point, I'm actually going to mix in a heal cheer because I, I have good typing. I can take all these hits, but let me keep my supporters alive. And right now, I am supporting the supporters. Really makes you think, huh? But who is supporting who at this time? But I want you to support me in the growth of the Danimal Kingdom. Friday, March 8th, Dan Squared merchandise will be live. No hang up getting hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, hats for Dan Squared. Check it out, dansquare.shop. There we go. That was, you see that? Marketing Dan. That was Marketing Dan right there. Minus two special attack, minus two special defense. We'll need more, but we are back to water gunning. The thing is, Bulbasaur with a power whip, that was fast. Water gun's kind of slow, but I like it. You're watching this video, and we're just hanging out. We're relaxing. What's better than this? Just animals. Hanging out with the animals. We're doing some water gunning. Yeah, some of those jokes are tough over there. <laughs> Please laugh. Terror raids are fun, but be careful because unexpected things can happen. Like Squirtle <laughs> defeating Blastoise. That's fine. Here we are. We're one away. The, the child overtaking... The parent, a dance square tradition. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. <laughs> hey, wait, no, it didn't. Oh, it didn't hit. Oh, I used my line. I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying to find a cool line to say at the end of the terror raids. Just gender neutral guys being dudes. Absolutely inclusive Women's History Month. <laughs> I wish that would have. All right, this is fine. It's fine. A win. A win is a win. It's beautiful. Squirtle, we're so back. Squirtle to beat Blastoise. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using Water Gun on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Blastoise season.